Beach Camping Tools here. Well, I want to talk about what's new in the new WTS 380. You've already seen the video, I hope, of it being used in the field. We, you know, took it out, as I said there. Uh, it was brand spanking new at that time because I've already got a WTS 380, so I knew how to assemble the thing essentially in the dark. Uh, but now it's a bit easier to show you inside the parts that are new to be able to barbecue with this thing, and they're really cool. So we're going to start off with some... Uh, the key thing here is a firebox. This is a welded stainless steel, very heavy uh, gauge material. And with that, you know, you can put in your logs into here and stuff and just, just you know, fill it up with wood like this. And this sits down in from the top of the stove. So how does that go in there? Well, first of all, uh, there's a plate that comes off the top of the stove. We'll look at that in a minute. And then there's this plate. You see this plate here? This thing fits. I'll just take this wood out of here. This thing fits uh, into here like this, right? And that goes like that, and that sits in the actual stove, okay? So you actually light the fire in here. Right, so this steel plate, this is a really heavy steel plate. How this works is, this will, I'll just pull the whole thing up like this. This sits inside of there like that, can you see that? So this is the grilling plate. Okay, the grilling plate sits on here, and any fat that drips off of this, it runs off of this, and it runs down into the firebox. It's not going to run over the stove. It's going to keep the stove really clean, and that's a really cool idea. So that's um, the firebox, and that sits on top of that. Now, if you want to grill fish, because this is a bit too hot to grill fish on, uh, he's, he's got this here. This is another uh, addition, and this comes on here like this. This is the fish grilling plate and that sits on top of that so all of this sits in through a, uh, a hole in the top of the stove and we'll look at that in a minute so that's it there they're the, they're the parts let's have a look at that again you've got the fish grilling thing here which sits above the flames you've got this heavy duty plate I'll just put that down there so you can see that there it is there whoops heavy duty plate uh, the firebox and the surround Okay, so this hole, this cutout here, in the, in the new model of the WTS 380, this allows you to put the firebox in there. This is quite thick already. The top of this is very thick, um, you know, and very, very rigid. Look at that. There is no movement in this. But anyway, the firebox goes in there. As you can see, I've got, it's got full of parts in there because this stove, you can take everything that you need in there. So first we'll look at the stove packed, and then I'll show you the firebox, how it goes in there. Okay, so here's the stove fully packed out in here. What have I got in here? Well, I've got all the chimney parts for a start and the legs. I don't know if you can see that there, but I've got the legs in there too. The legs go in there. Everything goes in there. Let's have a look at some of these things. This is the um, tool that you scrape the ash with, and this is essentially the same as the original uh, WTS-380. These are all stainless steel parts, heavily welded together. But we've got this thing here, this little hook on there like that, and this hook allows you to uh, remove the grill plate, remove everything from the stove, and you can put the top back on here. So we've got that in there. Uh, I've even got a knife. You know, you can take a big knife. You can carry everything in there. Here's a, here's a big knife in here. I've got a Kisler Supreme knife there. And uh, the legs, you can put extra wood in there. Here's a you know, chunk of wood, all sorts of things go into there. But I'm going to remove everything from there now because I want to show you the firebox in there. So let's just take everything out of there. There's one leg, another. These are not stainless steel types of legs. They're chromed uh, heavy gauge steel. So these are quite heavy, uh, but they're strong. You want something strong and sturdy and these work really well. Okay, so all of this stuff here, with the exception, okay, the firebox and the grill and the fish grill down there did not come out of this, but everything else did, all the stove pipes, that cardboard box with the top cap for the stove pipe, this pipe here, everything, the wood, the knife, everything as you saw came out of inside of this, and I've still got lots of wood placed inside of here. So we start with this part here, this goes into the top, this sits here like this. And this, any fat that, uh, as I said, that drips off this thing will go into the firebox. And then we put the firebox in. It's the firebox like that. 
firebox sits in there like that. If we want to grill something, uh, we need, we, you know, presumably if the fire was on, we can do it exactly the right way, and that is we can pick up the, the heavy metal grill with this tool, like so, and we will put this over the fire, like that, and, and then you've got your grill on here that you can grill food with and you can move, even use this to move your food around. Okay, if you want to grill fish, you can leave this, you could leave this on there because there could be a lot of heat coming out of that firebox and you can put the, the grill on there like that. Okay, so I want to take this off, imagine if that's hot, I'll put this into there, so I can take this off, put that somewhere else, my fish grill, put the fish grill on top, oops, Okay, like that, and I can grill the fish like this and have a flame coming directly underneath here. And that's how we did it in the when we were using it, you know, because uh, it's just the very tops of the flames, depending on how you want to regulate the, the heat on the thing. You can also regulate the heat, obviously, by opening and closing the door a little bit to let some air go in there, and also using the ordinary vents down here. So there you go, that's the WTS380 with those. Uh, parts on there. Now how does the top close over if you want to use it as an ordinary oven? Let's have a look at that. Right, so it comes with this blanking plate. This is a bit of heavy gauge stainless steel. It's very thick and this just fits uh, on, on here like this. This fits perfectly flush. There is no gap in there whatsoever. Again, you could put a pot on there to uh, keep water warm or whatever when you've got a normal fire going inside of there. If this is really hot and you want to start barbecuing on it, obviously you can't pick it up with your fingers, but you use this again. Stick this in here like this, and this enables you to capture that and remove that plate. And also you've got this, of course, on the side. You see, you can always put this back on the side, on here. This is your, or on this side here, okay, to keep things warm, the warming shelf. Okay, so there you go, WTS380 there, the modifications um, for the firebox insert that goes in there to turn it into a really good barbecue and fish grill. Bush Camping Tools here, thanks for watching, totally recommend it.